What is going on, guys? Uh, so today what I'm going to do is go through all the racing games that I have for the Dreamcast. I think this is most of them. I counted 41, which is a ton of racing games in one genre on one system. Uh, so I'm not going to recommend all these. I'll tell you the ones that I definitely would recommend and love, and we'll go from there. And hopefully this helps you out with trying to find some maybe like hidden gems that you've never heard of as far as racers on the Dreamcast. So let's get started. Uh, first up, Magforce Racing. Uh, I would kind of consider this a decent racing game. Uh, when I played it, definitely wasn't like uh, hooked. Um, it seemed a little boring. You're, it's kind of like you're on these hover type vehicles. Uh, you do this kind of weird drifting up walls and stuff like that, but nothing exciting. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that game. Uh, F1 uh, Grand Prix. Uh, again, this one I wouldn't recommend. Uh, kind of a boring game. As you can see, I'm not a huge fan of racing games. Uh, they have to be pretty entertaining uh, and addicting to, for me to fall in love with them. Uh, Test Drive V Rally, uh, I would recommend this game. This game's a lot of fun and uh, a lot of different environments and, and stuff like that to play on. Okay, this is one I would definitely recommend, and that's Looney Tunes Space Race. If you like the Looney Tunes world, this has all the characters in it. Great great kind of uh, kart uh, racer, um, if you will, but uh, I would definitely recommend it. It's fun. TNN Hardcore Heat. Okay, Spirit of Speed. So when I uh, was looking for this game, I couldn't find it for the longest time. Started reading some reviews on it. The ones when it first came out gave it like ones out of ten, like terrible, terrible reviews. And it is an LJN game. But then I read a couple of newer ones that kind of revisited it, and and they they kind of liked it. And they said, you know, it's not that bad of a game. Pretty realistic. When I put it in the system and I started playing it, I'm like, wow, this is a really realistic game. Basically, you're driving around these old-time cars. Uh, graphics are pretty good, uh, but it's just that's all it is. You're just driving around all these old cars that go slow. So, if, if that sounds kind of entertaining, it's very realistic uh, and not that exciting, but uh, pretty pretty decent like graphics and pretty decent racing mechanics. Uh, it feels like you're driving an old car. All right, Monaco, uh, Monaco. I'm sorry, Grand Prix, Sp Speed Devils. Okay, highly recommended F355 Challenge, uh, a definite hidden gem of a racer. Uh, kind of a tougher one to find too, but I would definitely recommend it. It is a fantastic racing game. I love this game. Another one that I would highly recommend is Met Metropolis Street Racer. Wow, this game's incredible, incredible. Okay, uh, Roadsters. There are 41 games here, so I'm going quick here. Test Drive 6, decent game. Really good game. Sega Rally, uh, love the drifting in this game. Love Rally games. Uh, Suzuki All-Star Racing. Not as good as Ducati, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, flag to Flag. Uh, Pen Pen Tri Salon. Now this isn't necessarily a kart racer, but it's more of like those animals on foot are racing. Kind of a quirky game though. You like can do belly flops and slide on ice and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, Togo Extreme Racer. I love this game. I would definitely recommend it. Okay, my favorite racing game on the Dreamcast. <laughs> Walt Disney World uh, Racing Tour with Chip and Dale and all, all these awesome characters in the in the Disney universe. Um, it used to be super cheap. I don't know uh, if it still is, but if it is, I would definitely recommend this. The one on the Game Boy uh, is also fun. The Game Boy Color. Okay, four x four Evo. Terrible graphics. Terrible. Vanishing Point. Okay, another highly uh, addictive uh, racing game. Trick style, very arcadey. You can do crazy tricks on those hoverboards. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, another great kart racer. Uh, wacky races. Pfft, fantastic. Snowcross, kind of cool and unique. There's not a lot of like uh, snowmobile games out there that are racing, so I, I would uh, recommend that. Okay, sorry. Uh, great arcade port of this. Great, fantastic. Highly recommended. Not recommended. <laughs> South Park Rally. <laughs> uh, eh, this one's decent. I like racing through the streets and, and cities and stuff like that, so I kind of like that uh, for this. But uh, it's, it's a decent game. Uh, I love Sega GT. Oh my god. Looney Tunes Space Race again. Great game. Um, Test Drive of Mons. Pretty good. Uh, 
I had a tough time finding this one. Uh, I've been again when you're going for a complete collection, you remember the ones always that are really tough to find, and that was one of them. Okay, this is. I would de definitely recommend this Demolition Racer. Uh, really, really big hidden gem. Has a light gun game kind of hidden in it, and you can see in the back it'll say light gun too. Um, so I haven't actually been able to try to unlock it. I don't know if you have to like actually beat the game to unlock it or if it's just in the menu somewhere. But uh, that's kind of a unique thing for a game. Uh, Ducati World. This is the one I was saying is is uh, better than the other um, bike racer. This is a great game. Love it. Okay, Daytona USA. Graphics are great. So much better on the Sega Saturn, but both games are fantastic. 18-wheeler. Uh, when this game first came out, I was instantly hooked. I played the demo before it was released, and then when it actually was released and I was playing it, it just I couldn't get enough of it. You feel like you're driving a big rig. It's just it's a great game. Speed Devils Online Racing. Uh, this game is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you need to uh, have an online connection to play it, but it's a gr it's a great game. Uh, four four wheel thunder, uh, not that good of a game, but um, it's not that bad. Uh, to finish out the series, Tokyo Racer Two. This game's crazy. Surf Rocket Racers. It's crap, but it's also fun at the same time. These are the type of games that I really enjoy. Where um, it's so clunky, uh, it's chaotic. They're trying to do too much in the game, uh, but I really really like that game. Okay, another one of my favorites here is Revolt. Uh, fantastic game. Uh, you really feel the lightness of the uh, RC car when you're racing around. You like the neighborhood and stuff like that. And it's cool that you, you know, you're this small little car and you're kind of racing around. It's really neat. Uh, not that good of a game. This is like Jeremy McGrath Supercross. This is a fantastic uh, racer, Star Wars racer. Awesome. If you, uh, you know, even if you don't like Star Wars, it's a great racer, but this is it's a fun, fun, fun game. A uh, great arcade port, and then last but not least, kind of save the best for last with the Hydra Thunder. Just awesome port of this game. So, anyway, that wraps it up. Uh, 41 racing games there. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of them. But uh, uh, definitely, you know, the ones I recommended, I would I would pick out because the Dreamcast is a great arcade kind of port machine uh, for these for these racers that were all pretty much all in the arcades at one point. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching.